similar to the quality of service which is provided in LTE and LTEA networks in the 3GPP based next generation networks. In mobile WiMAX, particularly WiMAX 2.0, quality of service is a very important consideration. We are going to understand in this module what are the types and the variants which are recommended in mobile WiMAX 2.0. The IEEE 802.16e standard has certain quality of service recommendations which are based on the user traffic types aka service flows. Depending upon the elastic traffic, real-time and non-real-time traffic, these service flows can be provisioned either in a contention-based environment or contention-free environment. When it comes to contention, it means some kind of resource shortage is assumed. There is no prior strict admission control. So the contention based traffic is treated like best effort. The contention free service flows are the ones which are provided a guaranteed service in terms of delay bounds, packet loss and so forth. So we have to begin with some basic kinds of contention free services including unsolicited grant service, real time polling service and so forth. We are going to look at these in detail uh, because uh, each one has its own implications in what kind of traffic it can handle and uh, how good it is uh, suited for that kind of traffic. Then we have the non-real-time traffic. It can be provisioned through non-real-time polling service. Since it is related to non-real-time traffic such as email, web browsing and file transfer, so it can be incorporated either as a contention-based service or a contention free service. For contention free service, the base station that is um, home in node B in uh, LTEA, here we have the base station and advanced base station if you recall, uh, and then we have the mobile stations and advanced mobile stations. So here for contention free service, the base station periodically polls the mobile station and the mobile station actually asks for a certain reservation. On the contrary, if it is contention based service for, for non real time, uh, the base station allocates a certain bandwidth upon bandwidth request. It is known as BW rec or the bandwidth request, uh, which is made by the mobile station. So the bandwidth is allocated. But uh, compared to contention free, this bandwidth might get shared as more number of users appear on the network. So let's look at uh, the service flows uh, which offer quality of service based uh, services to mobile WiMAX 2.0 users. As we just shortly discussed, we have the polling service in real time non real time polling service we have the best effort uh, then we have the unsolicited grant service the unsolicited grant service is quite interesting because it relates to the real time traffic which is known by a unique behavior that is it has fixed packet sizes so this emulates some kind of tdm like behavior so if we are transmitting VoIP in fixed sized packets, then unsolicited grant service is going to be the best. Uh, the polling service for real time is highly suited for the variable packet sizes for voice over IP, which includes now silence suppression. Silence suppression actually means that uh, the packets are not containing any wasteful information. The only thing that is included is the 
audio or the voice of the speaker. Then IPTV is also suited for real-time polling service. There is a variation or modification to the real-time polling service known as extended real-time polling service. Again, it is for variable size packets. But these variable size packets actually have both active and silence intervals. It means that uh, uh, we have the uh, active intervals when the user activity or user audio is on along with the silence intervals. This kind of traffic is uh, suited for multimedia traffic. Multimedia streaming service actually is the one which is uh, used by uh, different online movie stores and uh, video content sites such as uh, uh, Netflix, YouTube, etc. Uh, then we have the non-real-time polling service. Um, as we said, it is related to elastic traffic, so it is delay tolerant. Then we have best effort. We, we've already discussed it. An interesting service flow, which is recommended in IEEE 802.16m, uh, is adaptive granting and polling service. Uh, we, we might look at it in more detail. It is very flexible because, as the name suggests, it is adaptive, both in terms of the time allocation, packet size allocation, and the uh, inter-packet delay. Uh, it is suited for some interactive environments, such as uh, online video games, um, voice over IP, uh, which is, for instance, SIP-based voice over IP service, with uh, adaptive rates. Adaptive rates uh, means that multiple rates can be adjusted. High rates, low rates, moderate rates, and then certain delay-sensitive TCP-based services. Uh, for instance, uh, we have the TCP-based service like uh, FTP. FTP is not delay-sensitive, but uh, we can think about uh, a file transfer which needs to be carried out uh, within a certain time period anyways. For that, uh, adaptive granting and polling can be a service provided in WiMAX 2.0 networks.